so hello guys and welcome to my channel sir today again i am back with another important numerical sir on transmission and design subject so here we have the numerical given as find load factor loss factor and compute the value of constant k1 and k2 k1 and k2 for the system having the following load patterns and here we have given the load pattern in at time 0 to 6 we have demand 0 kilowatt similar to for 6 to 10 we have 4 kilowatt and from 10 to 14 we have 2 kilowatt from 14 to 18 we have again 2 kilowatt and from 18 to 21 we have 10 kilowatt similarly from 21 to 24 we have 4 kilowatt and here we have to determine the load factors loss factors and the value of constants means k1 and k2 for the systems and we have the formula for load factor here we know load factor equal to p average upon p max and p average is represented as summation p into t upon t upon p max and here so summation p into t so we can write here 0 into means and from difference 0 to 6 we have 6 so 0 into 6 plus again 4 into difference is here 4 similarly 2 into and here we have again the difference is 4 similarly 2 into difference is 4 similarly 10 into difference is 3 and 4 into the difference is 3 so we have 0 into 6 plus 4 into 4 plus 2 into 4 plus 2 into 4 plus 10 into 3 plus 4 into 3 from here and up on t means 24 and here the p max means the maximum demand here you can see is 10 kilowatt here given so once you calculate this will get the value of load factor as here we have the value of load factors so you will get load factor as 0 0.308 similarly to calculate the loss factors we have the formula as average power loss upon power loss at peak load so uh, to calculate the load factor just we have obtained as summation p into t upon t and but here for the loss factor we have summation p square into t upon t upon p max square so just we will square for p so 0 square into 6 plus 4 square into 4 plus 2 square into 4 plus 2 square into 4 plus 10 square into 3 plus 4 square into 3 upon 24 and the maximum demand is 10 and here we have p max square so 10 square so once you calculate the loss factor we will get here here we will get the loss factor as 0 0.185 so the loss factor is here we have obtained 0 0.185 and now at last we have to determine the value of constant means k1 and k2 and we know the equation k1 plus k2 is equals to 1 and and here we have the relation of uh, uh, load factor and the loss factors and their respective constant so loss factors we have the relation as loss factor equals to k1 into load into load factor plus k2 into load factor square so k1 into load factor plus k2 and we know where just we have obtained a written as k1 plus k2 equals to 1 so k2 will be here 1 minus k1 so 1 minus k into load factor square so we just now we have obtained the value of loss factors similarly we have obtained the value for load factors and here we have to determine the value of k1 so 0 0.185 is the loss factor given similarly load factor is given as 0 0.308 and 1 minus k1 so if you so if you solve this we will get the value of k1 so k1 will be here 0 0.4229 and similarly k2 will be 1 minus k1 so if you substitute the value of k1 here we will get the value of k2 so k2 will be 0 0.577 and similarly here we have the next one and this is also an important numerical and this is also frequently asked in the final exam so annual peak load of a feeder is given as 2000 kilowatt and copper loss i square r at the time of peak load is 80 kilowatt and annual loss factor is given as 0 0.15 similarly annual energy loss due to copper loss of the feeder here we have to determine the annual energy loss due to copper loss of the feeders so loss factor equal to average power loss upon power loss at the peak load and when a loss factor is given as here 0 0.15 and average power loss upon power loss at peak load so power loss at peak load is given as here 80 kilowatt so here from this relation we can obtain 
the average power loss. So the average power loss will be 12 kilowatt. And here we have to calculate the total energy loss. So for total energy loss, just we have to multiply this average power loss with 8760. So we'll get here 105-120 kilowatt hour. So this is our final answer. So in this way we can calculate such type of numericals. Hope you enjoy the lecture. Thanks for watching this and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.